Hello, darling. Oh, hi, how are ya? You look incredible. Thank this you. is a dress. Thank you. Who makes it? I thought it's Oscar de la Renta. I thought it's the final one. Let me make my moment. <laughs> you are having a moment. Yes. Oh, and the train. Yeah, the There's so thing. much drama happening. And it's the colour of dark side. <laughs> You're so perfect. Um, now that this is finally all over, and Ray's secrets are all going to be revealed. Do you think that you're going to get Josh Gad off your back finally? He's here somewhere. <laughs> He's here somewhere, and I can't wait to see him. When he came in to set, he came on to set, he texted me, and he was in London. I was like, do you want to come in? But I said, if you come in, you're going to see a lot. And he saw a scene that revealed a lot of the story, and he was like, can I swear on this? He goes, dude, what the f <laughs> He was like, I love you, but I hate you, oh my God. I said to him, it happens early, it's fine. But he was rocked. Then he told me what happened in Frozen 2. Oh, no. I was like, I did not. <laughs> That's not fair. No. Wow, so what you just said has kind of gotten me a little shook too. So something happens early in the film that's going to have everyone... Shaken. Shaken. Shooken. Shooken? Shaken. Shook. Shook. That combination that everyone's saying. Use, yeah. It's cool. Yeah. Do you really feel like this is the end for Ray? Do you think that she could have a standalone film? Do you think there's something else beyond this? I don't think she could have a standalone film because I think Star Wars is the... Um, the addition, like it's the sum of all parts. I just feel like Ray wouldn't like exist like this without Finn, without Poe. There are all those things that she needs to be to be Ray. Um, so short answer is a film by herself, no. Okay. And this is the end? You think this is the end of the saga? It's an end. An end. You know, in 20 years, I don't want to be like, oh, whoops. It's <laughs> well, an end. They've said it before. You know exactly. that. Yeah. Yeah. But I feel like this is what George Lucas wanted. Yeah. So I feel like, yes, and I feel like it's, when people see what happens, they'll be like, okay. Really? Yeah, they'll okay. be like, okay, this is the end we've been talking about. We were here with you in 2015 when this whole journey began for you. Yeah. How would you say your life has changed the most because of this saga? I would say it's probably strangest that I feel a touch more comfortable. It's not like these things are ever comfortable, but I feel like I went from being like, why was I cast? Oh my God, I'm not the right person to being like, I've worked really hard for six years. So now I, I basically have convinced myself to be like, it's okay, it's good that you're here. So I'm trying to be more like, you know, that it feels right that I was the one that got to play her. It's good to know that you feel imposter syndrome too, because I think a lot of people suffer from that. That's I such a normal At the beginning, I was like, is this a joke? And I kept thinking, they've like set up cameras or something, they're gonna like tell me to go and I like won a prize, but it's not like a great prize. Oh, come on. And then they kept me. They kept you. Yeah. They loved you. Who did you bring tonight? Literally none of my family are here, but my team are here. Okay. Like my agent, my publicist. Okay. Got a few friends. Yeah. You got your posse. Lovely people. But yeah. The family probably be at the Big London. Yeah. They're they're apparently watching a live stream somewhere. Oh. Hi, fam. Hi, fam. <laughs> Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.